Good morning, I'm Dr. Larson. This morning we're going to be taking care of a patient with back pain related to a mildly degenerative disc with a disc herniation. The patient is a 35 year old male who's had a long history of back pain after an injury to his low back resulting in a, a disc protrusion, disc prolapse at L5-S1. You can see the disc protrusion right here. He's undergone the multitude of non-operative management without success and continues to be uh, hurting with his low back pain. Here's the disc, an axial view showing the disc uh, sequestered into the annulus. What we're going to do is go in through the front of the spine, retroperitoneal approach, take out the lumbar disc at L5-S1, prepare the disc space for an artificial disc, and in this case I'm using the Synthes Pro Disc L, uh, which is a mechanical device. You'll see that going in. We'll put it into the disc space, restore the disc height, and uh, give him normal motion in the spine, and hopefully take care of his low back pain and get him back to uh, return to normal function quickly, usually in around four weeks. I'm Dr. Larson. Let's get started. Fluoroscopy is used to uh, help with the initial incision for approach. Here we are showing the midline at L5-S1 to help with the initial incision. A skin incision is made and a retroperitoneal approach is taken to the L5-S1 disc space. Special retractors are placed to give safe exposure of the L5-S1 disc space. The damaged disc is removed and this space is prepared for disc arthroplasty. Hey. The disc space is distracted open and it's important to have parallel distraction. Little hammer. The, the trial is tapped into position to get the uh, size for the appropriate size artificial disc. An AP view is taken to confirm that the size or the trial is placed in the midline so that the disc is ultimately placed directly in the center of gravity of motion. The chisel is tapped down the midline to place a cut for the fixation of the disc. We size for the correct size pro disc L. The three piece disc, two end plates will go in first. Here's the trial and chisel. Here's the artificial disc end plates tapped into position and we have the perfect match radiographically. It's time to put in the inner core of the artificial disc. The end plates have been inserted now we're going to put in the center movable part of the disc or the part that the disc moves upon. This is an ultra high molecular weight polyethylene insert and it's going to be positioned in the center of gravity uh, of, of L5-S1 in this patient and he'll have normal motion restored at L5-S1. The center core is being pushed into the middle of the disc. Lateral x-ray fluoroscopy shows the end plate and the core put in proper position back in the back part of the disc in the center of rotation of the L5-S1 disc space. The end plates are flush with the uh, true end plates. The core is in position. It looks good. Here's an AP view. You can see the keels lined up with the midline. The disc within the Within the pedicles, everything's positioned properly. Motion preservation surgery, disc arthroplasty, L5S1. I'm Dr. Larson. Thanks for watching.